Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hi guys, this is my 36 slash 37 week um, pregnancy vlog update thing. Um, a lot has happened. I missed my 36 week vlog so I figured I'd just combine the both of them. Um, and then I'll also update my 37 week doctor's appointment um, after I have it on Tuesday. Right now it's technically Monday morning. I think it's like 1am. I don't know. Anyways, so I had a doctor's appointment last week, 36 weeks, and everything was good. Um, for the first time ever, I mean, like since I've been in, I don't know, since 8th grade maybe, um, my iron was not low. That's never happened. So that was really exciting. Um, they pricked my finger, checked my iron, and it was fine. So I'm assuming prenatal vitamins, awesome. I don't know, I've taken women's one a day before, but apparently it wasn't enough. Well, I also take iron supplements though, so. But anyways, that was so exciting, because that's never happened. Um, baby's still not dropped, or as of the appointment he wasn't, and I don't think that he is um, as of yet either. Um, I do feel a lot of like pressure and stuff down there, but um, I don't think I don't think he's actually engaged. Um, he's still measuring two weeks ahead, so like I said before, the doctor said it probably means that he's going to be a healthy sized baby between 8 and 10 pounds. So we'll see. <laughs> um, he, the doctor asked me if I had been having Braxton Hicks contractions and I told her no, that I had not had any. And uh, she laid me down to do um, the strep B test and she, or well, yes, but she was also, she measured him. And when she went to measure him, she's like, are you sure you haven't had any? She's like, you're having one right now. <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> okay. So after she pointed out, like, what they actually, because I, I couldn't feel it. Um, all I could tell was my stomach was tight. Um, which, now that she pointed it out, like, I can tell when I'm having them, and I have them all the time. Like, I don't know, countless times a day. But um, before she pointed it out, I would have told you I never had one. So that was interesting uh, to find out. Um, I'm still having quite a bit of lower abdominal cramping, or I was last week at least. Um, this week hasn't been too much. Um, I finally got motivation to do stuff and... I don't know if that's the nesting instinct or just the, oh my goodness, my baby could be here in like three weeks or any time really, <laughs> instinct. <laughs> so, but that's been nice because I've gotten a lot done around the house that needed to be done. Um, but in the same sense, I'm trying not to overdo it because I don't want to induce labor just because I can't stop cleaning. Um, let's see. As of my doctor's appointment, I was one centimeter dilated and 50% effaced, which I know really means nothing um, other than the fact that it's exciting because I know that my body knows <laughs> what it's supposed to do at some point to get the baby out, so I guess that's kind of comforting. <laughs> um, I know it works and all down there to get dilated and effaced, uh, but other than that, I know that it doesn't mean anything as far as when he could come or the uh, progress or anything like that. We'll see if we made any progress on my appointment Tuesday. I'm planning on getting checked again. Um, <clears throat> as far as I've watched a lot of videos and everybody's like, oh, I get up like three times a night to pee. And I don't. Maybe I'm not drinking enough water. <laughs> I don't know. But I can sleep through the night. I don't have to get up to pee, which is really nice. However, during the day, 
I pee constantly. So it could just be that I don't drink much late at night, and so that's why. Um, but I don't know. I just, that's something that I noticed that was different from a lot of what people were saying. As well as the, um, a lot of people, or it's common in pregnancy to be constipated either at this stage or, I don't know, throughout the whole pregnancy. I haven't had any um, at all. In fact, like the last week, I mean, I've had like, <laughs> TMI, <laughs> I've had like two bowel movements a day, like it's insane. Um, but I've always been regular, I've never been uh, constipated, so that's been nice. Um, my clothing, nothing really fits much anymore, even though my belly's not dropped, it still seems to be, I guess, bigger out here, so my clothes, like my shirts are too short. So that's frustrating. I pretty much wear my my uh, husband's clothes all the time now. But even some of those are getting tight and ugh, it's just aggravating. So from that aspect, I'm ready to not be pregnant so I can actually wear clothes again that aren't, that fit. Because nothing, oh my goodness, it drives me nuts when I have to wear a shirt that I'm like constantly pulling down to make sure my belly is not hanging out. I think that's so disgusting when, I don't care if you're pregnant or just fat, but it, ugh, yeah, belly hanging out of the bottom of the shirt is just gross. And, let's see, oh, so this whole pregnancy so far, I, or as of my last doctor's appointment, I've gained a total of 33 pounds, uh, which is towards the higher end, um, I think. A lot of it's water weight. Um, I've been swollen my entire pregnancy pretty much. Um, like, it, really swollen. Um, I've had it checked and nothing's wrong. Well, they said as long as my blood pressure stays normal and um, I don't have, um, yeah, duh. oh, <laughs> protein in my urine. Or anything like that, then I'm fine, and all both of those have been okay. Um, however, <laughs> at my last appointment, I walked in and she was like, "So today we're gonna do the strep B test, and we're gonna prick your finger to get check your iron." I do not like needles, and so then she's like, "But we're gonna check your blood pressure first. And I was like, "Well, you should have checked my blood pressure before you told me you were going to prick my finger." <laughs> So, needless to say, my blood pressure was high. It was like 144 over 80 or something like that, and which is pretty considerably high for me. And so they, uh, but I mean, I told her it would be. I hate needles. <laughs> Anyways, so they checked it again like 10 minutes later and it had already gone down to like 136 over uh, 74 or something. I don't know. So it had gone down considerably. I know that that's the only reason it went up was just because, like I said, I hate needles. Strep B test was fine. Um, that was the least un, uh, least horrible part of my visit. Whatever I don't know, something like that. Sorry, it's one a.m. <laughs> um, but anyways, so that was fine. I don't. I uh, get my results back on Tuesday, so I don't know the results to that yet. Hopefully it's negative. Um, let's see. I did have, this is also TMI, but if, I mean, it's pregnancy vlog. Your pregnancy is gross. You're expected to, well, parts of pregnancy is gross. Sorry, don't, don't take that offensively. Uh, but you're supposed to, you know, uh, hear about yucky things. So after I got checked, um, I, by the time I got home, which I went to the store and blah, blah, blah. So that was like two hours later. I got home and there was quite a bit of brown dish, ow, brown discharge in my underwear, which was disgusting. So I figured it was due to getting checked, which was horrible. Uh, that's, a pe be uh, sorry, because he is way high up there still, she had to dig way high up there and 
Oh, gosh, it was painful. Um, of course, then I equivalent that to I'm about to give birth, and I, then I feel like a wimp. I know it's not probably not the same pain, but I'm planning on going without medication, and if that hurts that bad, then I don't know how I'm going to deal with laboring without medication, but we'll see. Um... Yeah, so the discharge. So, quite a bit, and then um, throughout the night and then the next day, it was just like a spotting of the brown discharge. Um, and then that night, so the night after, let's see, my appointment was on Tuesday. So Wednesday night, there was like this white foamy, it looked like egg whites that had been beaten. I don't know. It was nasty. Anyways, discharge. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I read, because I was trying to find out, could this be part of my mucus plug, or is this just because, you know, she was digging around up there, or, or what the cause of it was. And so, I don't really know exactly what it was. It wasn't tinged with blood or whatever. So, it could just be, um... When I talked to, uh, well, I actually talked to a nurse at the birthing center that I am going to, and she said that it probably wasn't um, part of my mucus plug. It was probably just the fact that you have a lot of discharge late in your pregnancy. So I don't know. I haven't had it anymore since then, and I hadn't had it before then. So I don't really know what it was, but it was gross. Um... I have had more discharge since then that just looked like clear snot, which, again, could just be normal pregnancy discharge. I guess it could be part of my mucus plug. I don't know, but yeah, I have it. Whatever. Again, mucus plug, losing that doesn't really mean anything. It just means that, I mean, your cervix is opening, but depending on... uh I mean, everybody's different, so I could still have my baby like four weeks after I lose it, so it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you my belly. Well, you can see it, <laughs> but I'll show you my belly and I might stand on this stool. I don't know, it might make me too tall. My bed's uh, too high up, so I have to use a stool. But here's my belly. This is probably dangerous, so nobody yell at me. Anyways, here's my belly. Here's from the back. back. <laughs> um, and I have a black shirt on, so I don't know how well you can see it, but it's there. Like I said, I don't think he's dropped. He's still pretty perched. Um, but yeah. So it's kind of like a basketball. Which is nice. I I mean, I've gained weight everywhere, but um, at least, I don't know. Most of the, like, my face is a lot fuller, but I think that most of it is actually water weight, just swelling. Um, my nose has swollen, which is driving me nuts. My husband keeps poking it, and that, ugh, that drives me crazy. But anyways... Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've, I've gained weight all over, but I definitely have a basketball belly, which I love, but, um, still, oh, my belly itches like crazy. I cannot wait for that to go away. Um, and have a, a ton of stretch marks. Apparently you can get more, but I don't know if more can even fit. My stretch marks are about to have stretch marks, so, but that's okay. It doesn't bother me. Um, I knew I would get them, so nobody ever sees my belly other than my husband, so doesn't really matter. So yeah, but thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good night, day, slash week. Um, and I will talk to you guys again after my next doctor's appointment. Thanks.